Good afternoon, everybody. So I'm, uh, I'm very pleased to be here. So, no, this is uh, my first time in Spain, and also this is uh, really a great uh, uh, opportunity uh, for me to introduce Apache Killing and uh, some use cases. A uh, little bit about, uh, about myself. So I'm uh, the co-founder and the CEO of uh, Kelly Jeans. This is uh, the startup behind of the open source project Apache Killing. And also I'm a co creat and uh, now is a PMC chair of Apache Killing, this project. Uh, yeah, so let me, uh, let me talk about a little bit about uh, this uh, startup. So Kelligence means killing and uh, intelligence. So we, want, we, we created this uh, open source uh, project. And uh, for the startup, we wanted to bring more uh, capability for the intelligence way to using AI, to using uh, machine learning, can to uh, uh, augment the, the analytics stuff. We formed this, team, uh, this company three years ago with the creators uh, of uh, Apache Killing, and we raised the funding uh, from uh, uh, Red Points and uh, Cisco at the beginning, and we closed our Series A uh, last year, and we just closed our Series B uh, from uh, eight, eight loads. Actually, it's a Fidelity International. Okay. So we also very uh, uh, honored to get the CRN top 10 big data startups uh, just uh, a few months ago. Uh, but today, I will more cover about the Apache Kaling, the open source project itself. So today, I will introduce a little bit of the background and also the technical highlights. And later on, I will introduce the uh, uh, user cases. It's a very uh, impressive one. Say some like uh, uh, companies uh, to using Apache Kaling to uh, get insight from a churning data uh, from like a petabyte uh, scale data. And uh, in, the, in the last uh, five minutes, I will let you know what our uh, startups doing. Okay. So first, it's uh, talking about uh, this uh, Apache Killing uh, project. So we, uh, we developed this uh, project uh, when we are still working for eBay about like five years ago. You know, eBay is, uh, eBay is the biggest user uh, of uh, Teladata. We have uh, more than like uh, uh, 20 petabyte data in the EDW. But we have, uh, at that time, we have uh, more than like uh, 200 uh, petabyte in the Hadoop. It not make sense to bring all the data from like Hadoop to, to, the, to the EDW and to like BI application and to something. So at that moment, like five years ago, we decided to f seeking for some solution, uh, build something on top of Hadoop right, to resolve that uh, challenge for the very huge, massive data set. And, uh, but uh, the analyst, they wanted to like sub-second interactive latency. So that is uh, what the beginning of this project. And, uh, and uh, after one year of development uh, inside eBay, we open sourced it uh, in uh, 2014, and later on we joined the Apache Software Foundation as an incubator project. And after one year, in uh, 2015, we are uh, graduated to the top level project. So now, after this uh, uh, graduation, we have uh, like more than 1,000 adoptions already all over the world. So I will introduce something, uh, some some great uh, use cases later. And very, uh, you know, uh, pleased we got several like recognized from the industry. Okay, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of uh, you know bigger uh, bigger users all over the world. I will I will uh, talk later. So let me let me talk about what kind of uh, a problem we try and want to resolve when we are moving from a traditional EDW to the big data the data lake. There's something missing. Right, that's because you know there are too many like uh, uh, different technologies and. Uh, you like see Hive, like Impala, like SparseEco, like Drill, like blah, blah, blah. And you have to learn each of them. And, and from an another angle is for all the like presentation layer, they only have like has a, a SQL interface, right? But they have to deal with that. That's something missing. So that is what the challenge we have when we are, uh, you know, inside the eBay, and we decided to do something, change something. So finally, we bring the OLAP concept back to the EDW, uh, to, to the ecosystem. The OLAP is, is, is actually is an old, old term. It's about like more than 30 years already, right? But it is very, it is very good, you know, build the cubes on top of like a, a traditional uh, data warehouse, say like Teladata, say like DB2, something else. But when you're moving to the Hadoop, Hadoop world, there's nothing at that moment, so we decided that. And what kind of benefits we introduce to the, to the world? The third one is, uh, the first, first one is uh, semantic layer. You, you have a lot of uh, technical stuff inside the data lake, right? Define the columns, the, the, the fields, the tables, but your business and business analysts, the business users, they just want to have the dimensions and the measures and some filters and conditions, 
right? That's a gap. That gap we call it is a semantic layer, right? The mapping, the technical to the business. And the, 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 the another one is we call it the speed up, the SQL acceleration for the big data. No matter like Hive or like even like Spark SQL, it's still a very slow when you are having a very huge data set plus very huge concurrency. Right? Your cluster is always like that crushed, right? When you have like thousands or even like ten thousands concurrency. So that is we introduced high performance and high concurrency using that technology. And another thing is that we're still using the NC SQL. So that means your analysts do not need to learn anything new about the technology. They only, they, they only need to know it's using their you know, favorite daily tool, like Excel, like Power BI, like Tableau, to, to kind of access that billing data and get a very fast access. That is the key introducer to that. And how we do that? Let me give you some like, technical hi uh, highlights. So, so the fundamental concept behind the Apache Killing is OLAP Cube. So the Cube, you know, we will build some of this uh, aggregated uh, uh, result, right? It is we call it is, uh, and you can do the low up or like drill down or the si slides and the dice, and that one we call it is OLAP cubes, right? This is very, uh, it's about like maybe maybe like thirty years uh, old, right? And then you think about, but think about that your analyst will always uh, uh, get insight from that data is from different dimension, like which day, where, which which kind of uh, product, and how much is, right? How many you sold, right? That is. Uh, we call it OLAP. And what we, what we introduced to do is, uh, so then we think about that, there's a, like, a lot of like, tables sitting in your hives, or even like spice equals. And then we'll sit in, you present as a, like, a star schema, or like a snowflake, or, or other like, schema. And it makes sense is to pull the data, and to do the manipulation, and pull the result somewhere. And next time, when the same query coming, it can just get that result back from there, without touch the, the original have table, right? without t to kick off another MapReduce job. So that is uh, what we call the balance space and time, because it will, uh, uh, it, it will uh, require some, uh, some, some additional space right, to store the, result, the calculation result. But the benefits is it can speed up a lot for the queries, especially for the like, uh, queries run every day, right, or even like every minute for everybody. So that is architecture is Apache Kinney itself. So we can consume the data from Hive at the beginning. Now it can consume it from any like SQL on Hadoop. Even today we can uh, uh, we have a plugin can to consume data from RDBMS, and also it can uh, support from uh, consuming from like Kafka as a streaming. This is a very uh, useful case. Can build some near real time analytics, and also today you can uh, uh, consume from some like cloud source. Okay, and then. Uh, inside of the kidney, you just need to define the data model, tell the, the system which is the dimension, which is the measure, and how to calculate it. And uh, once the system has all the uh, metadata, it will automatically talk to the cluster, your Hadoop cluster, uh, using MapReduce, or today you can use it like Spark as an engine, to pull the data from source and to do the calculation and put the data to, to the edge base. Okay, today it will. As, as a key value storage. And that is what we call it a cube processing. And once that data is done, any like BI tools, it can consume that uh, interface. We have the ODBT Java, JDBT Java, and the REST API. You just need to submit the NC SQL to the system, and the system will directly get the data from edge base without any high touch, without any uh, MapReduce job. Okay. So that is the concept. And uh, let's talk more detail about that. So this is the SQL. Right. So just uh, select some from uh, uh, join two tables and have several like group by and order and something. And if without any calculation or index, that will be do the like table index f uh, table scan first, right? And then to the join, to the filter, and then to the aggregation and get the result back to 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 the, to, the, to the client. But if you have like one billion loads, or even like hundred billion loads, that will be very very slow. And if you have, uh, yeah, even if you can uh, like distribute your data to the, like a, a very huge distributed system like Hadoop, when you have like thousands or even like hundreds of thousands of concurrency at the same, same, uh, same, same second, the cluster will be very busy to shut, shuffling the data. So how we resolve that? We do the calculation. The pre-calculation will be read the data and to do the join and to do the uh, something first. 
and put it over there, right? And the next time, it will just get the result. That is, we call it pre-calculation, okay? And we not only support like the star schema, we also support very uh, complicated uh, data model, like Snowflake, like uh, uh, even uh, other like models, okay? And how to store it? So we're using uh, HBase uh, as a storage. So HBase is a, a key value storage. So the key actually is uh, your dimensions combination. Like if you have uh, like uh, 10 uh, dimensions, actually we will do some calculation for that. And the value is actually your uh, matrix, the matrix result, right? So if you have sum, you have count, you have a, even like you have a distinct count, we, we, will, we will save that value over there. And we do a lot of hard work to resolve several uh, very hard challenges. The first challenge is uh, uh, data exposure, right? If we, if, if we calculate it as, a, as, as uh, every combination together, that will be disaster, right? But we do a lot of what we call a partial cube, and we, can, uh, we, we do a lot of optimization for that, can reduce that. So from our uh, best practice, most of the pr uh, production uh, deployment, it just uh, cost like uh, maybe 20 or 30 percentage of the source data. So think about that. If you have like 100 terabyte uh, hive data, it is very slow. But today I ask you, hey, just give me like a, uh, 20 terabyte as additional storage. But I can guarantee for like 90 percent of the queries can uh, return in uh, one second. That was to do right. So that is how 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 we do that. So once the query is coming, it just gets the result. It just have the edge base table scan. And if you if if you uh, uh, how say deploy the uh, edge, uh, this edge base as a uh, dedicator for the killing, you can optimize the very much because that is a read only system, right? So you can uh, like uh, add very uh, how say, uh, big memory for the cache and uh, like do other like uh, stuffs. And so that is the result. The result is uh, you could see compared to some like uh, uh, SQL and Hadoop. So the first diagram is you could see this is from uh, the uh, star schema benchmark. Okay, this is uh, actually uh, uh, converted from uh, TPCH. So you could see most of the killing queries, it can retain in just one second, but others it will be uh, exceed very much. And the, se the, the second uh, chart here is we call you the, the X, X, X is, is actually the data scale. So that means you can see no matter how many data is, like so from, uh, like, uh, from like 1 million to like 1 billion, our uh, performance is a uh, consistency in like a second level. But with any like a SQL and Hadoop, it will uh, uh, reduce a lot once uh, the, the volume is uh, bigger and bigger. And also, we, we integrated with the BI tools very well. So yeah, today you can using like uh, any like open source BI tools like C Hue, like Zeppelin, like Juniper, uh, Juniper, like other like even like a, a superset, right? Kind of interactive with uh, uh, killing uh, services. And also, uh, if you are going to go go with uh, a commercial one, uh, most of the commercial uh, BI tools already be uh, certified and be integrated. Yeah, and uh, I can tell you is uh, just in last week, uh, Microsoft released the Power BI, the latest version. It uh, packaged uh, our enterprise uh, uh, connector inside that, so that you can even easy to use that. But that is for the commercial one. Okay, so now that is a very basic, right? And I think you still have a lot of uh, uh, questions. Is um, can you do that uh, really? Uh, how how big are uh, the cases it can serve? In? I give you some uh, examples. So we have a very, very huge you know, user case, thousands of uh, users all over the world, and it can fit the various uh, scenarios from like uh, a behavior analysis, for log analysis, to the financial assets management, to the advertising. There are some like things using the DPM, the DSP, uh, using this technology, or even can serve for like real-time analysis or gaming or something else. Okay, that is uh, a lot. We have we publish a lot, a lot of uh, user cases, and if you have interesting, you can uh, you know go to our website to to see the Powered by page. There are a lot, and uh, give you some uh, like uh, detail. So first one I want to talk is a uh, total. You know, this is a very interesting one. This is because it's mo most is a top one news uh, application in China, and I believe it's almost in the uh, uh, world. Uh, you could imagine that every Chinese people today are using this application to consume just the, the news, everything, okay? So they have a, they have a lot of, a lot of, you know, user behaviors. And they have a one, a one a, 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 a scenario is we want to have some video. And once you are looking at that like, video, they want to get some impression data, right? 
and they, they build this impression uh, an insight based on our technology. And think about it, and, and guess how, how big that, cube, that table is. One cube contains more than three trillion blows data. And 90% of the queries are still written in one second. That is really amazing. And this is very, very, very huge, you know, just for one cube, one table. Okay. And also, they have like hundreds of uh, cubes uh, serving more than like thousands of analysts in uh, National Wild. Okay, and today, this is, um, this, that data is from last year. I believe the, uh, most of them is already uh, changed it. And the benefit here is the, you could see the uh, last one, the, the second one. It can saving for the cluster resources. So think about that. If you have like 1,000 analysts, and they will submit uh, the queries, and then the queries will be generated to like the uh, MapReduce jobs. And think about that, how busy your uh, Hadoop cluster is. Right, you cannot manage that. And today, we just use it, calculate once, and I can serve in any time, right? Because that result is already be there. And uh, from our practice, uh, uh, more than like uh, 80 or even 90 uh, data, you can just uh, use in the batch model to get it, or even just using like the uh, near real time data, right? You can serve in for that. So that is uh, save, save the cluster resources very much, okay? The second one is we call this Meituan. It's still in China, but this one is really, uh, uh, how say, this is the biggest uh, O2O services now. Uh, I, I have to say, uh, without uh, such like application, we cannot survive in China now. <laughs> because uh, what kind of application we are using? So when we are go to the office, we need using something like Uber. Right? This, uh, they have some services for that. When we want to, uh, uh, Mm, in, during the launch time, we want to order something. They can deliver that in just like in, ha in half hour. And if we wanted to uh, uh, see a movie, we can buy a ticket from this RI. So you can think about that. That is a really, really huge one. And today, their application on top of uh, Apache Killing is already contain more than petabyte data. This is just uh, the cube data. So, think of, so you could uh, guess how big the source data is, right? And you can see the, the, the latency, the 19 percent uh, latency is less than 1.2 seconds. That is a really, really uh, a great result. Okay. But yeah, they do a lot of uh, optimization uh, behind of that. Uh, they're using lots of like, uh, uh, technology, even like using some SSD to uh, speed up for the, for the hardware side. Okay. And also, that concurrency is very huge. They, they have like uh, 3.8 million queries per day, okay. and they, most of them are just in the daytime. Okay. So this is uh, another case. And another one is what, what I introduced is uh, Yahoo Japan. So you know, Yahoo Japan is the uh, most uh, visited uh, website in Japan. And uh, actually, this is an uh, e-commerce uh, website. So there are a lot of uh, machines uh, selling uh, through that website. So this is uh, very big, right? like, some, like Amazon or eBay in, in Japan. And they have that data. And the previous, they wanted to uh, uh, open that data to their machine, because, machine vendor, right? Because everyone, uh, Wanted to know that how how about the GMV, how about how many uh, customers visited the, the customer and uh, how many sold it every day, right? Previously, they are using like Hadoop and that one is uh, really really slow and cannot extend to the uh, to to a huge group. So later on, they uh, come to us and build an application. And today, you could see they just published the, the uh, their blog in two weeks ago. Uh, sorry, that version is still in, in Japanese, <laughs> but we are asking them to uh, translate it to the English version. I think it will be uh, published very soon. Uh, they from their engineering block. Uh, they talked a lot of detail about that. And uh, you could see that uh, the diagram, that is a query latency. So you can see most of them actually is uh, yeah, less than uh, eight, eight, 800 milliseconds. Well, that's really fast. And uh, the, the, the interesting way, the best uh, you know, practice from this case is not about that. It's about what we call it is uh, uh, com uh, computing and uh, read separation. So, with some reason, that data is uh, sitting in, uh, in, in, in California data center for the detailed data, every over there. And, but their consumer, their user is uh, in, in Japan, right? But if they build some uh, application and, uh, in, and deploy in the, in, in the California data center, because that is a distance, so that, uh, the, the performance is really, uh, really bad. It, from our experience when we start working eBay, it will more take one report, it will take more than like 10 seconds uh, to uh, get the result. So how do they do that? 
Very interesting thing is that uh, they are huge. Uh, Hadoop cluster is just take the responsibility to do the calculation. That means to read the data from Hive and build the cube and store it in a temporary, and then using a, you know, a disk copy to a, another cluster deployed in a Toyota. And then the application is just uh, you know, built on top of that, the Japanese cluster. And in that case, every, everybody in Japan, Japan is happy for the performance, for the latency, because they can uh, get the, get the uh, report result just in one second. But that is really, really great. And more beyond that is uh, you could imagine that you can use this uh, capability to calculate the data inside your data center and just ship your result, maybe it's just like, say, the aggregated result to a cloud or to another, another area, to another uh, place, and build something over there. This is, a, this is a doable, and we have a lot of uh, uh, practice already. And uh, even uh, from our cloud version, it's very uh, easy to uh, deploy all over the world. Okay. So this is very interesting. And another one is for the Xiaomi. Okay, you know, Xiaomi is a smartphone vendor. And they, they, they're processing a lot of uh, uh, you know, smartphones and other smart devices. And uh, people told me that uh, they're like the nine volt, like for this, uh, since it's uh, very popular in, Japan, in Spain, right? Uh, That's very interesting, <laughs> right? And uh, they have like more than, uh, than 80 uh, eight business lines today are uh, relying on our technology. They build something they call it a data factory. That's a very interesting name, right? And to uh, uh, Get the data and the calculation and serving for the different user scenarios. Okay, they have a different, uh, uh, you know, uh, sol sol uh, scenarios. So the killing stuff is more focusing on the batch stuff. Okay, they also have another uh, uh, branch. You could see that is uh, using Kudu and uh, like uh, Yes uh, to for the st streaming stuff, and then we can serving for the different, uh, you know, uh, queries now. Okay, they will also publish uh, late, uh, a use case later. That's very interesting. Okay. Oh, by the way, most of the smartphone vendors uh, are already our uh, users already. I do not confirm the Apple yet, but I can tell you Huawei, right, Xiaomi, right, Oppo, like Vivo, uh, most of the top you know smartphone vendors they are using uh, our technology to help to do that, get insight from that. Right. And another, and another uh, use case is for Strictly. I think that maybe some someone already know that they are uh, how say uh, web 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 uh, application you know can uh, for everyone right. Everyone can go to their website to just with a click without any technology can build your own uh, website. There's something like uh, Taylor Swift or some other like uh, uh, you know big stuff. Uh, they are they are using that technology to build their own uh, uh, website. So once you have your own website. What, what, what you wanted to do? What you wanted to know? You definitely wanted to know. Well, everybody ha ha has that one, right? I, I wanted to know that maybe in the night I want to check uh, how many people uh, visited my uh, uh, website, right? Uh, any any like uh, comments or any something else, right? So everybody needed that. So they built this one on top of AWS. Uh, previous actually they are using uh, Redshift. And they switched from that shift to uh, to to the to this one. This is because you know uh, we are a pretty calculation technology, so it can help you to just calculate the and the store on S3. And the next time when the when the query is coming, it just gets the result without any like a, a computing, right? So that is a very uh, good one. And they have uh, millions of users all over the world, and that application supports them very well. Okay. So. Next, I will talk about uh, this uh, the Apache Kini. So this is still, uh, how say, it's, it is uh, OLAP technology, and there's still a lot of, uh, um, how say, I can, it's a maybe limitation or maybe some uh, obstacle, so we want to try to conquer that. So we have a lot, we have discussed a lot in the community, and we are trying wanted to bring uh, the Apache Kini to the next uh, generation. So next generation, there's, there's some like ideas we actually already happen in the community. We some of them we are already uh, are, you know uh, under the developing. Some is uh, still under the uh, 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 discussion. So first is for the like we call it a new storage. So the, uh, the open source uh, uh, kill, uh, killing is using uh, HBase as a storage. It, it is uh, how it is not the best storage yet for that one. For example, HBase do not have the secondary index. 
So you cannot put a very uh, complicated queries on top of that. So think about that. If you have a, uh, some like uh, high cardinality uh, dimensions, then you want to get a very fast result from using that well, right? So think about that. You want to uh, query something uh, from a uh, field with like your phone, ID, phone number, with like a pager ID, or like uh, some other like uh, high cardinality. It cannot perform very well. It only can perform for uh, one uh, high cardinality uh, store, uh, dimension today. So we discussed a lot, and we are trying to uh, uh, remove the edge based dependency and to move to another real columnar storage. We call the Paqui is one uh, target, and we this is already uh, on the way. And you could check our you know e email list to see what will happen. Uh, but I can tell you is uh, our enterprise version is already replaced this. So that is we will the, our company will uh, contribute this back to the to the community. Okay, we f our enterprise version and the cloud version actually already know know at any uh, edge base for that. The second thing is for a real time support. So today we can consume data from uh, uh, Kafka. So it can uh, serve in for the near real time uh, uh, analytics. It can serve in for we have uh, some use cases. Can uh, how say can serve in just like say one minute latency. You can get the data back. Right. From the community, they, they want to have a more, uh, you know, to reduce the time to market, right? And so eBay re released another uh, discussion, wanted to uh, support the real uh, real time support. And so that's the uh, we are we are talking now, and it will, should be uh, happen very soon. And another thing is uh, uh, containerized, right? So yeah, I talk a lot of Kubernetes. Right, everybody are moving to the Kubernetes. The deployment for the Hadoop, the deployment for the uh, killing, because killing the depends on the uh, Hadoop, right? That, 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 in that case, the deployment is, uh, is still very uh, complicated. So uh, we just uh, published one uh, blog. Uh, we can now uh, submit uh, the open source, the, the, the Spark jobs, you know, the killing Spark jobs to the Kubernetes uh, cluster. It, it, it already works uh, in, in, in that. And we try and want to make it uh, more easy for use. And this is already happened. And I think, and most of them we are targeting to uh, package it as maybe release as uh, like a Apache Kidding uh, 3.0. Uh, I, I think it should be happening in the next half year. Okay. So this is uh, talking about it for the Apache Kidding. And now I will talk a little bit about the uh, company itself. So see uh, what kind of uh, add value we add on top of uh, uh, the open source project. So let's talk about that. Is uh, that, that, that I think uh, everybody knows this diagram very well, right? We put a lot of efforts to do the data manipulation, to clean up the data, to uh, transform that, to aggregate them, to store somewhere. I put a lot of a lot of uh, you know efforts over there. For example, one of our biggest customer in China, they have one team, 500 people. This that that team, that job that job is to just uh, get the data, clean up it, uh, and store somewhere, and make some uh, reports for the business. This support uh, just for that, right? But that is not make sense. And it will take a long, long time to implement some uh, project. But you can think about that. The, change, the world changes so fast, right? You cannot uh, to just uh, sit over there and uh, let things go. No. You have to uh, find something new to handle that. So our philosophy is people, you know, the human beings, it's very good at for decision making, right? Give you uh, an, an, some information, and you will say yes or no. That is very easy for you to do that. But you are not good at to do some writing work, right? You will uh, get crazy, right? If you uh, do the job day and day, and day every day, do the same way, right? But the machine is very they are very good at for the writing work. So the the way is how we can train the machine to do that dirty work. So that is what, and, and uh, yeah, the, get the benefit from the recent, uh, you know, uh, uh, technologies uh, emulation, so the machine learning, like uh, even like deep learning, we actually can leverage that. So our, our ideas uh, here is we can use machine learning to do that. So for example, if you, you, you when you are, you know, to visit different like websites and uh, show some interesting, and when next, when you go to like Amazon, I will go to like say eBay, it will recommend something to you. Hey, here is something you're interested. In. Do you want to buy? Right in, uh, in Amazon, you can just uh, one click buy, <laughs> right, and the money is gone, right? But 
what, 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 why? You know, so most of the technology stuff, you know, data warehouse side, the data analytics side, still need a lot of, uh, you know, human work. It not make sense, right? So I have one joke. It's a, yeah, think about that. You, you driving a Tesla from home to the office. Well, it's autopilot, right? You are very satisfied for the high technology, very exciting. But when you are getting to your desktop, when you are, you know, bring up your laptop, what will happen? Oh my God, right? A lot of sequels, right? <laughs> and, uh, and pull some data, right? And you, you, you just generate a diff, you know, something it, like years ago, you are doing it today. And you, could see, you, you will see a lot of other people, they are doing the same way you are doing. That's not ridic that, that really, really ridiculous. That is what we think we can, we can change. So what we want to do is we can get the SQL history from your application, if you already have that one. And we can uh, learn from the data schema. We can know the data profile. And our, our patent machine learning engine can recommend the, the data models to you. And for example, you just need to bring, like, say, 1,000 one SQLs to our engine. And then the engine will tell you, hey, here's, like, say, five or maybe six uh, data models can help you to speed up the, uh, those queries. Do you want to go? Yeah, you just need to want to click. Everything is done. So that is, uh, that is uh, what will happen over there, right? We, we, we put a lot of, a lot of efforts on top of that. And this is uh, already introduced to our latest release. And then it can serve for the BI scenario, say reporting for dashboard, and also can see like the real-time analytics. And get a benefit from the high performance and high concurrency. Uh, many of our customers, they are using uh, uh, us as a data as a services. For example, we just uh, co-presented uh, and, and uh, use, use cases from a China construct bank, the top two bank in China. They build a, a mobile application, enable their every uh, employee can get just uh, like metrics from their finger from a mobile application. And it, when they type, uh, like say GMV, it will pop up like the result for that. The backend service is relying on us. This is because we have can serve in the, uh, the high concurrency and high performance because they have uh, more than uh, 400,000 uh, users in China. Okay, and the entire platform can you know, run on, uh, from uh, on-premise to a cloud or even a container. Okay, so here is uh, the way we call it is uh, machine learning augmented analytics. Yeah, I, I explained it just. And this is already available from our latest release. Okay, it can help you to uh, you know, uh, reduce a lot of our efforts and uh, get home earlier. And the next thing is for the, for the cloud. I will not introduce uh, too much about that. So that capability can uh, run on cloud very, very easily. And we can already run, uh, can run on Azure, can run on AWS, or, or like uh, Google Cloud, and all other like uh, vendors. And uh, just the one thing I wanted to tell you is, so when you are moving to the cloud, what kind of things you want to, uh, to, to avoid? It, like say, we call it resources, right? If you provision, like say, 1,000 uh, nodes over there, but just uh, for one hour to calculation, that means you will uh, waste a lot of uh, money over there. So we, ha we introduced uh, one uh, uh, feature, we call it uh, auto-scaling. So when your data peak is coming, and our system will monitor that, the usage and the resources, and they will uh, uh, help you to auto-scale, auto scale and, uh, auto -scale and uh, to help you to get the, things to, uh, get the job done. And once the resource is, uh, is uh, getting down, we will also uh, you know, resign uh, the the class itself. It, this is automatically can to do that. And I give you two, uh, two uh, user cases. So this is for the commercial one, and this is, I think, a lot of people are interested in. Uh, China Unipay is something like a Visa. Their transaction numbers are already over uh, Visa. Uh, yeah, the amount is not, yeah. But the transaction number is already really, really uh, huge now. So they built uh, an uh, analytics system uh, by, like 10 years ago using IBM Kongonos and uh, serving every you know, ap uh, analytics application for their needs. But they have thousands of you know, IBM Kongonos cubes, and that management and the maintenance is really, really a disaster. And, uh, and, and uh, the Kongonos cannot serve for the like, distributed system, so they, they cannot uh, uh, serve for very uh, detailed query for that. So with, with, with very hard work uh, well, between these two teams, 
we got got this. Uh, we already have this done, and uh, I can give you just one number: is uh, we just using one cubes replaced uh, more than 800 IBM Cognos cubes, and uh, the performance is better there. So, previous they need like uh, see. Uh, 10 minutes to get that report. Now it's just to get, get it in like uh, three seconds. And the previous is that data time, data to time, uh, data uh, time to market, uh, it was like four days. Now their analyst, their business user can get data just in half day. It's very, very fast for them. And another thing is for the retail. This is actually for the Japanese uh, coast, you know, coast uh, vendor for the Unico, right? Actually, so in China, uh, there's many different channels to selling their product. They have uh, like local stores. They have uh, their own like web, uh, web website. They also have a lot of e-commerce, uh, you know, channels. Say like uh, Alibaba. Say like JD.com. Say other like like WeChat. There are a lot of things. So their their you know manager, their business owner, they definitely need to know uh, the performance of the different uh, channels and uh, the performance of the different uh, like products. Right. So that is uh, something we build to build that. And they just using like one uh, about like just less than like uh, one uh, month, they get these things done. It's run on on uh, Azure and using the HD Inside and the Kitchens and also Power BI. Okay, so last I would like to see uh, we have a very uh, great you know partnership uh, with all of the world. We certified with all most all of the you know Hadoop distributors. We also certified by all the uh, with all the like BI vendors. We also uh, can uh, run on all the like uh, cloud. Uh, uh, you know, uh, providers and uh, really, really, uh, you know, uh, uh, exciting is we have uh, a local a local partners, mobile solution uh, in Spain, and we have others. Uh, also, we are talking now, and really, really uh, exciting. Yeah, here is. Okay, so this here is my uh, presentation. I am not sure if we have uh, still have time. One minute. Oh, one minute. Maybe I can uh, for one one question. Any question? Thank you for the talk, it was very great. Uh, if you were in a situation that you have a, a team manager that asks you which is the added value that Killing has instead of Druid, which will be your <laughs> answer? <laughs> well, and so... more focused in streaming applications or... Yeah, I know, I know. Thing. So Druid is a really a great uh, project and they're very good at for the uh, real-time uh, OLAP stuff. And uh, people can leverage it for like uh, alerting or like uh, the advertising automation or something else, right? Really, really good. Uh, but that they, they have some limitation is uh, that is what uh, uh, Keeling is very good at because uh, from my uh, 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 you know view, uh, Geo is designed for machine. So if you want some like alert system, if you want some like automation, get from like a million seconds and take some action, Geo is the best choice for you. And uh, Keeling is designed for analyst for people. So that is uh, why we are we are you know introduced uh, uh, like the multi-dimensional model, right? So think about that in Geo, there's only like one table, so you have to normalize the data to get one table, and the SQL support is not uh, very good, right? You cannot to join the different cubes, uh, uh, tables, right? But Kini is something different. Is uh, uh, you can using that to join like even like hundreds tables, right? Even like very very big one. Right, so that is a, that's a different. I would like to see uh, we are we are good at for a different uh, segment, yeah. And we have a more detail a discussion about that in our mailing list. If you have interest, you can check that. Thank you. Okay. Still have. Thank you very much. Thank you.